Welcome to another episode of Natural Mojo. I'm your host, Pamela Silvan, and I'm thrilled to be doing another fantastic episode out here in the Pacific Northwest on Vancouver Island. I'm at High Lake, and this is a recreational site located off a obscure logging road. It takes a lot of work to get up here, but it is so worth it. Look at this magnificence. And today I want to talk to you about creating, or I love the word conjuring actually. Conjuring is the word to use out here because nature is consistently conjuring all kinds of magnificence and beauty for us to enjoy. So let's conjure the beauty and magnificence that we always want to see in our life. Now, I have come across an amazing concept that changed everything about my life. And it's now a concept that I hold near and dear and as part of my toolkit when I'm working with my clients. And it's called the mirror principle. Now, some of you might have heard about this, and it's quite easy and it's quite simple to to grasp its meaning, but not always so easy and simple to put into practice, like anything, right? Ladies, when we try to learn a new concept and we think, oh, this is, a, this is the thing I need to change my life, and we make those initial forward steps, and then what happens? Life tends to get in the way. Well, this is no difference, but let's go over it as, as succinctly as we can, because I think it's something, once you grasp it and you practice it, you will begin to see the shifts you've been wanting to see for a long time. Now, what do I mean by a mirror effect? Well, we all know what a mirror is, right? It's something that you look into and it reflects back what is ever in front of it. We all stand in front of a mirror every day as we go through our, our morning uh, hygiene practice and putting our makeup on and things like that. And it accurately reflects back what's in front of it. So the same thing with this mirror principle, all right? Our mind, it has a, a, a reflectory, I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm going to use it on today's episode. It reflects back everything that we put in front of it. So if when you look at the results of your life, it's because you have put in front of that, that creative mechanism called your subconscious mind, all that you now see reflected back in your life. Now that's a good news, bad news proposition for a lot of people. That's why when you hear things like the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, it's because of the information that they continually run through that reflectory mechanism in their mind's eye. You've heard that, right? Mind's eye or imagination or the subconscious or the superconscious. All of these things mean the same thing. They, they, it's a divine mechanism that we were all uh, granted at our inception, but we have not learned how to use it. A lot of that information have been kept under wraps, and those that know how to do it and use it, they continue to do it. Now, by the, the fact that we can access information in the way that we can through technology these days, it's by some miracle that all of this information, this divine information is now at your fingertips to use if you so wish. Like I said, the information is there. To put it into practice, that's a whole nother animal altogether, okay? It's like anything. It's like your New Year's resolutions and you want to lose weight and you want to get healthy we, you know, you run to do it. And then what happens two weeks in, your resolve starts to decline and you go back to your default. And the same thing with this that I'm, I'm talking about, the mirror principle. All right. So with the mirror principle, it first asks for one thing that most people default on all the time, clarity. What are you still unclear about? Because the unclearness in your life is what's causing that feeling of unstuckness. If that's what you're going to put in front of that mirror that produces whatever you put in front of it, confusion, um, anything debilitating or negative, it's going to continue to replicate that on and on. So sometimes we say, oh, well, why does this keep happening to me? Because you keep looking at it, because you keep thinking about it, because you keep talking about it, because you keep bringing it forth and putting it in front of this principle, the mirror principle, and it takes whatever you give it, it takes whatever you feel into it and keeps making more of it. All right. It's not what we basically 
we, what we think we deserve in life. It's what we feel into life is what keeps coming back at us. That's why it's so important to be intentional about the words that you use and the words that you say. That's why when people come to me in a in about a five minute conversation with people, when they start to work with me, I can tell exactly what it is that's getting in their way. It's their blind spots. They have no idea of the words they use and the mindsets, the fixed mindsets that they keep putting in front of them and tripping over. It keeps replicating. The mirror principle is at work. It's at work for me. So I have to be intentional about the things and the energy that I bring and put in front of this uh, mechanism and this principle because it's going to do what it's going to do for everybody. Whatever I bring, Pamela Sylvan, whatever Pamela Sylvan brings to the table is what is going to be duplicated. So what do I want to duplicate? I want health. I want abundance. I want a clear way. I want to have my life set up in a way. All that you see me doing out here now as a van lifer and doing my whole natural mojo brand this was something that I put in front of my mirror mechanism or principle. I dreamt this. I dreamt its ability to be out on the road like this, road tripping like this, almost two decades ago. And now, when I think about the time that I did this to what's happening now, it's like time folded in. I, I can't even remember half of what happened in between from the moment that I conceptualized it and held on to that thought and that dream to what's happening now, okay? A lot of people don't want to dream or dream big or dream at all because they don't think that they have the time. There's not enough time for it to happen or how is it going to happen? And that energy is, again, what you're putting in front of this mechanism to keep giving you more of the same, the same dread, the same bad feeling, the same confusion, the same feeling of being lost and stuck. When you say things like, I'm stuck, well, yes, you are running around the maypole with the same thing. You don't know how to stop yourself. And that's why it's good to get in front of someone that can help you hear what it is that you're saying and thinking and the results that you continually keep spinning off because you are not cognizant of this. We get into a way of thinking and speaking and acting and being, and we can't see it. And our whole environment is set up to keep us doing just that because it's what we created. When I wanted a new life for myself, this is what happened. My old life started to fall apart in ways that was quite uncomfortable. You know, I liken it to this. It's like you're on a boat or a ferry or a big cruise ship. And when that um, uh, boat or, what, or whatever has to align itself to its new destination when it leaves port... The water of the caused by the propellers to align to its new destination churns up the water, and there's a lot of white water that's happening, and there's a, it looks very confusing and dangerous, and all kinds of things are going on. But all that it's doing is is moving and sh and and putting this vehicle into position so it can then go off in the direction that the captain or whoever is guiding this vehicle wants it to go. Just as we are guiding our vehicle, our life, our environment, when we choose, when we decide on something. So many people choose not to decide. That in itself is, it's, it is, is a decision, and you know that. You've heard that before, yet you still don't seem to believe it. Now, I'll take that back. Not that you don't seem to believe it. Many people don't seem to believe it. Maybe there are those of you that are now practicing this. And here's the other thing. Unless you are in the realm of people who are continually speaking about this, that are continually reminding you that you are a creator, a co-creator. You have one job. Choose. Put it in front, in front of the mirror mechanism or principle. And the mirror mechanism and principle takes that. And because you keep looking at it and you keep hanging on to it, it goes to work. Now, it may happen right away. It may take a long period of time, depending on how much work is needed to move things out of the way so you can go in a new direction and things can show up for you. And here's the beautiful thing about that. When, once you make a firm decision about what you want, you start seeing things happening. Little signs start coming. Little things start appearing. People say things. Someone shows up. An opportunity appears. And you think it's coincidence. And you th say things like, nah, that's impossible. It would have happened anyway or something to that effect. And then the more that you hang in 
with that new decision, new choice, new desire, more empowered vision, the more the picture becomes to unfold brighter and bigger in the mirror. Okay, the mirror principle has been with us since time began and, and many have come to tell us, many great sages and prophets have come to tell us about this, to look away from what is. We're so busy looking at the problem. Oh my God, look at the bills. Oh my goodness, this relationship. Oh, that job and that boss. Oh, my, my business is not growing. And you keep breathing energy into that. So the mirror principle gets activated. And what does it do? It gives you more of those bills you can't pay. It gives you more of the job that you hate. It gives you more difficult relationships that you can't get out of. On and on it goes. So while you're in the soup of what is right now, create a new vision for yourself. Spend time in silence, in writing it down. That's why I'm out here. My vision has cleared up like a bad cold gone away because I have time to hear myself and to hear the, the, the call of my heart. And I get to say yes to that and write it down. Keep it close to your heart. It's not for you to get on social media and, and throw around all over the place for people. Even those closest to you may not understand the desires of your heart. A lot of what I'm saying, for those of you that are biblical, this is all biblical talk. Write the vision so that people won't perish. You and your dream and your life will go to nothing if you don't choose and work that mirror principle. So, a lot of what this principle is about, people, they, they can't seem to spiral up the energy needed, conjure up the energy needed to trigger this because they're too busy looking at what is going on today. What is going on today is, is a, a delayed result of what you said or thought or involved yourself in energetically some time ago, even as early as yesterday. So you can't go by what's going on today. Turn and look at the new vision that you created and chosen and designed for yourself. All right. I'm all about designing. It doesn't mean that things are going to go as I designed it. Sometimes they go even better. That's why I always say this or something better. So select something. Know that the operating principle is about to be triggered because you've chosen. Give gratitude because you've chosen it. But here's the thing, it's the faith to hang in there because tomorrow, because you've chosen something new, your whole life might go to pieces. And that is uncomfortable. That, my friends, is uneasy. And only those that hang on while the wind is blowing, the winds of change is blowing, get to see the new tomorrow for themselves. I sound so Pollyanna-ish, but this takes courage. This takes confidence. This takes resiliency to do. Most people go the way of ease and comfort and silently live lives of quiet desperation because they don't know how to enact this. This is why I'm inviting you into my world so you can learn to practice how to operate the mirror principle and mechanism because I talk about this in everything that I do. I'm a prime example of this, even my own mother. I'll, and a lot of you know that she has already passed, but before she had, she asked me, how am I doing what I'm doing? And she was a pastor while she was alive, but she saw me creating, bring things out of nothing. I have people calling me a magician. No, this is available to anybody that has the faith and the energy. And I take a pause there because even talking about it, I can feel it rising up inside of me. Okay. So as I stand out here on Pie Lake, looking at the magnificence of life and what it has done and what in, in co-creation to my beliefs, and my claiming what it is I want all the time. Some people go off and they do vision boards and some people, you know what? Your vision board should be here all the time. Speak the vision, see the vision, lean into the vision, breathe the vision, talk the vision with people that understand. It might be one person, it might just be to the divine that you speak the vision. Build yourself an altar. When I come out here, I like to give thanks and, and build little signs of thank you everywhere that I go. I may never see it again. But I'm always thinking forward, leaning forward into gratitude. I'm going to talk more about this. This is, this, is, oh, this is way too quick for this. So maybe I'll have a part two next week or something like that where I can, I can um, really design it better. 
for you. But what I would like to do is for you to visit my website at PamelaSylvan.com and become a member of my community. So this information won't escape you. These videos will always be there for you when you're when you need a little bit of a boost of energy. To what did that panel say about that mirror thing? Right? Because we forget. Because the moment you switch off this video, boom, your life comes rushing in and distracts you away from your energy and power as it was intended. Okay? So thank you for joining me for another episode of the of Natural Mojo. And I look forward to joining you again in another location. I'm moving around every week. It's somewhere different. All right? But keep that mirror principle and mechanism in mind as you decide how you would like to design your life in 2023.